Pitching Nerd, my name is Drew. I'm the tool rental manager from PC5166 in Haymarket, Virginia. And I'm Mike, I'm a district trainer at 5002 in Sterling, Virginia. Today we're going to talk about everything you need to know about the ozone and the hydroxyl generators. Hydroxyl and ozone generators are highly effective at removing undesirable odors from enclosed environments. By creating and emitting your respective compounds, the user can eliminate smells such as mold, mildew, pet odors, gunk smell, smoke smell, high VOC foods such as paint or glue, and rotten organic matter odors. However, despite having similar effects on unwanted odors, these two machines accomplish this in very different ways. Understanding these differences is vital to safely and effectively using both machines, and this is a great place to start. The best way to understand the hazards of these two machines is to learn how they operate. Let's start with the hydroxyl generator. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Odorox Boss, a very common hydroxyl generator company. The Odorox Boss uses a 690 Max CFM fan to pull air through a chamber containing two ultraviolet light emitting tubes. When this happens, UV light reacts with water vapor and oxygen, causing these molecules to disassemble and create hydroxyl. Hydroxyl is an oxidizing radical that occurs naturally in our atmosphere often called the nature's broom or detergent. Hydroxyls naturally break down odor, causing molecules by extracting hydrogen atoms and weakening the bonds within the odor. Although this may sound dangerous, hydroxyl is safe to breathe, not harmful to humans or animals, and can run constantly in public areas with no cause for concern. This is one of the biggest advantages of choosing the hydroxyl generator. While the hydroxyl generator does not emit harmful gases, it still has several potentially dangerous exposures. First, the machine weighs approximately 40 pounds and could cause an overexertion of soft tissue and injury if not handled properly with proper body mechanics. Secondly, the UV light emitted from the tubes can damage your eyes, so it is very important to wear dark UV blocking protective glasses when working on internal parts of the machine. Lastly, the internal fan and surrounding electronics uh, are dangerous, so make sure you remove the power source before maintenance and follow any necessary lockout and tagout procedures. Now let's talk about the hazards and exposures of the ozone layer. For this demonstration, we will discuss the SHIP TZ2, a common making model of the ozone generator in our industry. Ozone generators start the process by forcing air using a small fan through a discharge gap between two electrodes and a small dielectric, which is usually made of ceramics or glass. As oxygen moves through this gap, the electrical current causes oxygen atoms to split and create a single oxygen atom radicals. These radicals then combine with breathable oxygen to create ozone. Once emitted in the air, ozone attacks odor, causing molecules and organisms by casting off the third oxygen atom. This volatile reaction causes molecules to break down, thus destroying odors and killing organisms. Unlike hydroxyl, ozone is very harmful and dangerous to living organisms. When ozone reacts with surrounding organic material, it oxidizes and burns them, causing substantial damage and even death. Exposure to ozone will cause a burning sensation in one's eyes and lungs if exposed. In situations where there's excessive moisture in the air, Ozone will react with the water vapor to create hydrogen peroxide. This process is known as bleaching and it can be dangerous to the organisms. For these reasons, it is vitally important to never expose yourself, your pets, or anyone else to ozone. Ozone has the potential to kill people, plants, cats, dogs, and other pets as well as damage leather and rubber products. Furthermore, we must always make it a point to discuss these dangers with the customers during the familiarization process. Now let's discuss the usage of both machines. When it comes to using both the hydroxyl and the ozone generator, there are some simple steps you can take to help achieve the desired results. First, it's important to understand the customer's desired value. One of the biggest differences between the two machines is how they eliminate odors. Hydroxyl breaks down the bonds in the odor causing molecules that cause the odors to dissipate. Ozone does this, but it also kills the organisms that cause the odor. Think of it like this. Hydroxyl destroys the smell, while ozone kills the smell and anything living that is causing the smell. For this reason, it is generally accepted that hydroxyl is less effective than ozone. The 
According to the experts, most remediation jobs that take an ozone generator one day would take three to five for hydroxyl generator. Furthermore, a hydroxyl machine may, be, may not be strong enough to complete large mold remediation jobs where the mold has formed inside drywall, subflooring, or insulation. For these applications, the ozone generator is the recommended route. Before beginning to use either the ozone or hydroxyl generator, it is important to determine the size of the area that the customer is trying to remove odor from and choose the appropriate size and quantities of generators. The recommended treatment area size for the Odorox boss is approximately 1,000 square feet. The Shift TZ2, on the other hand, can handle a much larger area of up to 10,000 square feet based on the fact that the ozone can last much longer than the hydroxyl. In fact, the half-life of the hydroxyl is only approximately two seconds. Ozone's half-life is over 20 seconds. This means that the ozone can survive 10 times longer than hydroxyl before it dissipates naturally. Once you determine the square footage and the appropriate equipment package, the next step is to ensure the treatment area is closed off so the hydroxyl or ozone remains contained to the desired area. In most cases, this can be accomplished by securely closing all the room doors. However, if the area is not sealed to the customer's satisfaction, Sunbelt Rentals also offers zip wall expandable poles for rental and all needed accessories such as mill plastic and zippers for retail sale. It is important to make the desired treatment area as airtight as possible. Both ozone and hydroxyl are most effective when they are contained to the desired area and not allow it to disperse to undesired areas. Furthermore, in the ozone applications, it is important to contain the ozone created due to its harmful and dangerous properties. Due to the short lifespan of the molecules, proper airflow is vital to the effectiveness of both the hydroxyl and the ozone machines. To help with this, Sunbelt Rentals offer a wide variety of fans, ranging from carpet fans, pedestal fans, shop fans, and more. Lastly, proper humidity is important to the efficacy of both machines. If the treatment air is very dry and has low humidity, the amount of hydroxyl and ozone emitted is less and therefore less effective. Before we wrap up, let's talk cleaning and basic maintenance of the two machines we've learned about today. Because the simple science behind each machine, there is not a great deal of maintenance required to prepare for the next rental. However, there are a few steps you can do to make sure your next rental is a success. Because these machines are often exposed to mold and other pathogens, it is important to wipe them down with disinfectant wipes when they are returned. Inspect each machine for physical damage, such as dents or scratches. As with any electrically powered unit, check the cord for nicks or cuts. Inspect the hydroxyl filter to check if it needs to be cleaned or replaced. Lastly, while wearing eye protection, check to be sure the UV lights glow and the fan spins when the machine is turned on. Nice work, Drew. Thank you for spending time with us today to learn all you need to know about the hydrox and the ozone generator. We hope you are now prepared to run both of these machines with confidence. Thank you again, and as always, stay safe.